Hello everybody! In today's video I'm going to tell you guys about my very first ever salvia trip, which coincidentally is actually my first time ever doing a psychedelic. Most people try salvia when they're a teenager, and I was no different. This story takes place in... shit. I think it took place in 2002. So I would have been just barely 16 at the time, and back then we didn't have YouTube to look up people's salvia experiences, so none of us really knew what to expect. About all that I knew going into it was that my friend bought it at Rock Universe, it was like $10, and he told me that when he smoked it he thought he was sitting on his ceiling, and when he spoke nothing but gibberish came out of his mouth. So going into this experience I was uh, a little apprehensive, I had tried weed and I had tried alcohol prior to this. I think that my story is pretty similar to most people. I think most people tried alcohol and weed and then they tried salvia just because salvia is, or was at the time, legal. Its legal status is a little obscure now. I think it's changed. I'm not sure if it is legal in Canada anymore. Anyway, regardless, let's get on with my story. So I was sitting on my friend's bed and it was my turn to smoke the bowl. My instructions were to just inhale the entire bowl in one toke. We smoked out of a bong, hold it as, for as long as I can and then exhale and do my best to remain calm. <laughs> so I used to smoke when I was 16 because, you know, I thought I was being a badass and it made me look cool and for all the really stupid reasons that teenagers smoke. So I had a cigarette uh, in my ear going into this, and I'll get to why that's important in a second. So anyway, I inhaled, held for as long as I could, exhaled, and the very first thing I remember feeling was like, reality just kind of went like everything sped up. A lot of people say they feel like they're falling. I, I did have the sense as if I was falling, like, like I guess a vertigo feeling. My, meanwhile, I was sitting on a bed. And I had a very distinct feeling of just like having no control or little control of my thoughts. And I, w I was a little, a little freaked out at first, but I just, I took some deep breaths and I remembered to tell myself, this will pass. I, I knew it was only going to last about five minutes. And I figured that if I tried to smoke the cigarette in my ear, that it would calm me down and lessen my anxiety. So what I remember happening was I, I slowly took the cigarette out of my ear and I put it in front of me like this. And as soon as I thought about smoking the cigarette and like moving my hand to my mouth, all of a sudden, all of the dimensions of reality changed and it looked like my arm was stretching further and further and further away. The more my intent was to bring the cigarette to my mouth, the further my arm was stretching away, like I was Mr. Stretch from the Fantastic Four. And then all of a sudden, the reality changed and it looked like everything was made up of these really dark, like, rotating shapes. Like, everything looked very geometric. Like, I, my, I had about five friends in the room and it was as if all of a sudden they just vanished. Like, everybody disappeared and I was alone in this dark, geometric landscape. And it was as if I was looking in a mirror, within a mirror. Like, you know when you have a mirror in front of you and a mirror behind you and everything just kind of looks like it's going, Bwah! like, spread out? That's what my hand was doing. It was like shooting through like a million mirrors and I was just watching my hand just shoot further and further away and all I kept thinking was all I need to do is get this goddamn cigarette to my mouth and this trip will end. I know once the cigarette gets to my mouth it'll be over. So I'm just watching my hand soaring through the mirrors and I'm using all of my force to move it to my mouth. I remember slowly it started pulling back through the dimensions and coming closer and closer to my lips, and I was just completely focused on this cigarette. Um, it pretty, it was a really good way to ground me and stop me from freaking out, actually, because I had like intent. Often, when you do psychedelics and you have some kind of intent, even if it's as simple as just putting a stick of tobacco in your lips, that's still intent, and it took my focus away from having paranoid thoughts. So finally, I got the cigarette to my mouth, and I remember saying out loud, "I finally got it in my mouth." Um, pardon the dirty jokes that <laughs> saying that will bring, I felt like it was quite an achievement to get the cigarette in my mouth. And it was as if, as, like, I knew it. As soon as it touched my lips and I got it to my mouth, I was back. All my friends reappeared and I was all of a sudden back in regular everyday life reality. I was still a little slow because it was probably about five minutes that I literally spent trying to move my arm to my face. I must have looked like this to everyone watching.
I lit the cigarette. I, I took my first puff. I was like, <sighs> and I just remember sitting there and, and just thinking, that was really fucking weird. That was my consensus of it. Everyone was like surrounding me and they're all watching me like this. And they're like, how was it, man? What happened? How was it? Because when they smoked it, they were all getting up and freaking out and acting belligerent. But I, I don't know. I, I guess I was destined from a 16 year old to try psychedelics because I handled myself like a champ during that whole thing. I just sat there in complete peace and quiet. And they're all, you know, they're like this, like, how was it, man? What happened? What happened? And I'm just like, Guys, I'm never fucking doing that again. <laughs> I saw no value in it. I mean, at least alcohol and weed like made you feel like good, like there was some euphoria associated to it. This experience had no euphoria. I, I just felt really confused and lost. I, I, you know, this happened so many years ago. Like I said, I was 16 at the time and it was 2002. So this was a long time ago. I was just confused and lost. And yeah, I told myself I am never doing salvia again. Like, what's the point? And at the time I knew absolutely nothing about other psychedelics. So all I had to base my knowledge of like what psychedelics were was off this experience. Now, I, I wouldn't say it turned me off psychedelics. It just, yeah, it was just, it was what it was. I was like, that was cool. I'm glad I did it, but I see no value in doing this again. I hope you guys enjoyed this trip report. If you guys want to hear about my experience with other substances, um, I have quite an extensive, yeah, I've got a huge list of trip reports to do. This one, there really wasn't much to say, but you guys have been wanting to hear about a salvia experience, so I figured why not give you my first ever salvia trip, just so you guys can have some reference uh, info for, you know, my first ever psychedelic experience and where I've come from in regards to this, and just how fucking old I am. So yeah, let me know in the description, or in the comments below, what substance you would like to hear about next, and I will try to do more trip reports because you guys seem to be really enjoying these reports. Anyway, a huge shout out to everyone on Patreon right now. A special thanks to everyone in this annotation right here. You guys are awesome, and it's thanks to all of your support on Patreon that I am able to keep going with these videos. So thank you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. I wish I could do something else to show my appreciation and thanks. I will be uploading more content, but it's not gonna happen just yet because me and the girlfriend have a Central America trip booked soon. So once we get back from Central America, then I will be releasing multiple videos per week instead of just one a week. I know you guys want to see more from me and I want to give you what you want. So yeah, till my next video, take care everyone. See you later.